Hello, welcome back to Divine Destiny Guides. I hope you're doing well. Sending you the purest of love and light as always. God is for us. Who can be against us? You're blessed. You're highly favored. Welcome if it's your first time returning soul tribers, new soul tribers. Thank you for your love and your support. Really do truly appreciate you. Thank you. So be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your requests be made known. Be made known to God. Philippians 4 verse 6. Do not be anxious for anything. Don't be anxious for nothing. But whatever it is, With prayer, prayer changes things. God wants us to talk to him. Let him know our fears, our worries. So maybe somebody needs to learn to hear that word, to hear that scripture. Philippians 4 verse 6. Be anxious for nothing. Do not have anxiety. Okay, so the first card here, it says people in the community are ashamed. People in the community are ashamed. It says death spells and witchcraft backfired. And then it says mean girls are broke gals. Yes, so mean girls are broke gals. And again, even if it's somebody who identifies as a male, but if they're operating in their lower feminine energy they are a broke gal because they are mean so mean girls they're broke and this is why they're upset because again they use a lot of, of their resources to come against you and now it's not working out so well for them it's not working out really well for them yeah so a lot of these people in your community they are they're ashamed because they did too much a lot of them they spoke badly about you mm. it says here queen of wands the hidden god divine power guards against mental troubles so a lot of you, a lot of us, these people were probably, again, they were doing a lot to disturb your peace. Because it says here, Archangel Elimia guards against mental troubles. So these people were interfering with your crown chakra. They were doing chaos magic in your community. People were watching, stalking, because it's like they wanted you to be anxious, to stress you out. This reminds me of like the Eight of Swords, where you feel trapped because it's like everywhere you go, all eyes are on you, and it's not really for good reasons. These people, it was a tactic. They were fear-based, fear-driven. This is why... They were after you so much. And this could have been a queen of wands. And again, we know this person is just really toxic, low vibrational. Again, they're playing witchcraft. This is somebody who is very lustful, sleeps around. You know, it's a lot of pride, a lot of ego. They abuse their power. So this person had no idea. They thought what they were doing. And it's so funny. When I when I read Be Anxious for Nothing, that, that scripture verse, when I mentioned it earlier, and I'm thinking about anxiety, that's also the moon. You know, it's the things that we don't know. So a lot of these people, they do a lot of moon magic. And so... They thought it was hidden because here it says the hidden God. So they thought that nobody would know. They thought you would never know where these tactics are coming from. So with the ones, these people were very passionate. They were driven in what they were doing. 
not realizing that God, the ever seen, all knowing, omnipresent God, he sees everything. Can you imagine? And because we have God on our side, he says, go to bed, my child. I am up. You don't need to stay up. I will watch over you. He will give his angels charge over us because see a thousand will fall at our side 10,000 at our right hand and none shall come near our dwelling none shall come near our dwelling that's the security that's the safety we have but a lot of these people wanted us to be trapped mentally to be stuck like I said they could have been doing things under the moon, in the shadows, to create anxiety, along with working with people in the community to cause stress. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. So, yeah. So, now these people are ashamed because it's like their, their plans backfired. What they wanted for you, a lot of them, they're caught up in those traps now. Yeah, nine of swords. You see, they're caught up in these traps now because this is what they wanted for you. They wanted you to be that wounded warrior. But see, you have the comfort in God, purification, protection from the impious religious sentiment. So God protected you. It's like he swat off all of those enemies when they were coming against you. Because again, they wanted you to be burdened, to be wounded. But you know what? You did not give up. You did not give in. And if you're going through this right now, I mean, I am so proud of you. Do not give up. Do not give in. Because this will not be in vain. It's a reason why the enemies come out. Again, when you, when you see the dogs come out barking, when the snakes come out hissing, when you have a community online, on ground, wherever, covens, cults, people try to come up against you, that means there must be something special about you. And again, they're working for the dark, you're working for the light. So definitely, you realize this is spiritual warfare. They want you to give up. They want you to quit when it comes to your faith, your belief. They want, it's like they want to drag you through the mud. Whereas like Job's wife told him just to curse God and die. This, this is what they want. You to be so anxious to give up so you would let your guards down so they could take you over. Yeah, but sees like you you are in that full energy. The exalting God. This is all about faith for you. This is about your faith. On Christ, the solid rock you stand. Everything else around you, it's just sinking sand. It doesn't matter what they do. It doesn't matter what they did. You held or you're holding on or you're called to do this right now. You're called to hold on right now. Yeah, see the six of wands. God who took evil. Longevity protects against infirmities. What did I say? The death spells and witchcraft backfire. The six of wands. This is victory. You overcame some stuff. From, again, it's a community, but it could have been headed by a queen of wands in the reverse a very bitter angry person who tried to attack you send burdens to you for you to be wounded battered and bruised it's like by the time if you make it is almost as if you can't you're, you're limping on some of the de decks, the nine of wands, the head is bandaged up, the side one arm in a sling is like they did. They threw everything, the kitchen sink, everything at you. And yet still, six of wands, you will be victorious. You are victorious. Longevity, 
they wanted you to be unalive. Any sickness that they wanted for you, see the angel is breaking it. He's breaking that curse asunder. God fights our battles. And so this is why we don't have to dibble dabble in witchcraft. We don't have to play with it. We, we just need to keep our hands clean and our heart pure. God takes care of us. And that is the hope. That is, I mean, that is the protection we have. See, like they're working for the devil, but the devil can't do anything for them. Can't and won't. He has no power either. So they are they they are losing, they are fighting for a losing team. You will be victorious. You are victorious. Because why? Those death spells and those witchcrafts it backfired. I'm telling you, with the three of swords and again king of wands. So this could have been a male and a female who were working together to cause heartbreak, disappointments, dismay in your life. Wow, it says the quickly forgiving God, love and submission, cures illness, influences paternal love, gives long life, long life again. They wanted to hurt you, to break your heart. Some of these people, they sent a king of wands. These people were strategizing to come to you to break your heart. Because they, it's like they were trying, they were using anything, everything to see how they could break you. They didn't want you to know love, have love. The only thing they want was for you to be heartbroken. And of course, when your heart is broken and you're sad, then you're going to become sick, right? Wow. Mm -hmm. God is here, yep. Yeah? And five of ones at the back here. The mean girls. Yeah, the competition. The jealousy, the haters. That's the mean, the mean girls. They are now broke gals because they use their resource, their monies to do witchcraft and death spells, to pay people in the community, to bribe people to come against you. God listening in concealment. See, while they were ganging up together to work against you, God was listening in concealment. They thought it was hidden, but God was listening. He hears and he heard everything. Politics and ambition wins judgments and protects all those who seek the truth. Yes, it's like you didn't do these people anything. They were just hateful, jealous, envious. They're working for the devil. They're caught up in their ego. And they plan, they strategize. And if, if there was anything, if you have to go to court or something, it's like for what these people have done, there is enough proof that you can win, we can win, because they did a lot of things. They did a lot of things. And God protects us because we are in the right. He protects us because we seek the truth. And when the truth comes out, everybody will see that these people, what they have done, everything that they have done, they wanted you to be in the four of pentacles, to be stuck going, don't have. Well, God is freeing those who are oppressed. If you are oppressed in your finances, in your home life, with your family, God is here. The liberating God is liberating those who are oppressed. Because the enemy or enemies, they're trying to do everything to uproot our stability. Again, it's like anything, everything they can throw at you to see if it will disrupt your life, your faith, your peace. 
And again, this is exactly what they are experiencing right now. Because they are now broke. They are broke. They are, they are now have to hold on penny pinching. Scarcity mindset. Here it says self-atonement cures mental illness, deliverance from persecution. That's what they were doing with these people in our community. Trying to persecute us, nail things at us, throw any and everything at us that we don't even know about. All these lies. Because they wanted to create mental instability for us. So that when they say when they do their things, they already tell, told a lot of people that you're crazy anyway. So then this is why now they went out on their rampant to now. It's like they want to, to, to connect everything. So now when you start speaking out, they already slander your name that you're crazy. So nobody will believe you. So now they want to cement the deal. Because a lot of these people, they went out and for all the lies that they told, they know it's a lie. It's a lie. So what they did now, they, they told the lies that, I think I've said it before in other messages, that you don't have anything. You sleep around. You do witchcraft. You, you're a gold digger. You know, all of these evilest things that they could, I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. So now, in order for them to back up their story, now they're out sending out evil deeds, doing all these iniquity, evil, working with people to see how they can support their story, to see how they can send attacks at your finance, your mental health, you know, all of these things, send people to you to, to throw you off, to sleep with you, to make advances, to see if you're going to fall for it. Because now they need to make it real. They need to make it real. And a lot of them, it's like they were in a hurry. And now everything is falling to pieces. Everything is falling to pieces. Everything is backfiring. And people are seeing them for exactly who they are. Mean girls, they are now broke gals. They're broke because, see, a lot of them, they invested a lot. See, Queen of Pentacles, they invested a lot. Like I said, this head honcha or these, is, this was led by a Queen of Wands and a King of Wands. This could be somebody from the other side, like if it's a masculine, this is a, a female on his side. The feminine, this could be a male on her side. And both of them came together, as well as this could be a couple who decide to go on this witch hunt. Because they had a few coins, so they decided, you know, they could invest because the payoff, the return on their investment would have been so great if they were able to bring you down. Because see, now they need to come back to pull your life apart so people can say, yes, they were true. They have to pay people, bribe people to say yes. What they're saying, when again, everybody, and this is why God is here for you, because while they were doing their five of ones, you know, competition, jealousy, trying to fight you, tear you down, God knows that you seek the truth. You are a truth seeker. You're a truth sayer. You don't have time for the drama. And this is why God goes so hard for us. Because our heart is pure, our hands are clean. I'm telling you, some of these people in the community, th these could have been your own family, our own family. Yeah, they were third wheel. These were enemies. Can't trust them. Some of them were going behind your back, dating, courting people you were in a relationship with. Very sneaky. Some of them, they slept with your partners, people in your family. They slept with your families as well. 
they were third wheel. See, a lot of these people were busy looking for evidence. Again, to get proof, like I said, yes. This is why they were going around in the community, bribing people online, underground, wherever, to see what proof they could get to say that, yes, you are this person. Let's see how we can trick them. Let's see how we can break them. And we can get evidence to prove to someone or somebody's that this person is this because they already wrote the story. But it's based on lies. It was based on lies. Yeah, a lot of these people, they were in their ego. They were in their ego. I'm telling you, see the, the trap? They wanted to get you in a trap. They had a plan. They had a plan. Look, right. So a lot of them, like I said, they were doing rituals, working magic, mystery. I spoke about that, the moon, earlier too. This is just confirmation. These people were chanting science and with, with, with their candles and a lot of things under the moon. Yeah, it's like these people were fake, mask. I'm telling you, they, they were strategizing, strategizing how they could bring conflict to your life but God. Help, mercy, charity, kindness. God stepped in. God stepped in and like with the light bulb, it's, you know, it's like the light came on. I'm telling you, it doesn't matter what they do. They can't stop this. They cannot stop good news. Because this is why Jesus came. The New Testament is about good news. <laughs> good news. He came to save. You know, so it doesn't matter what they do. It doesn't matter what they try. God is for you. A lot of these people clothesline. They were under pressure to prove what they were doing. They were feet waiting, feeling distress and uncertain, dirty deeds, airing out dirty laundry, gossip. So a lot of these people, yeah, it's like they were gossiping, slandering you. You know, it's like they have... Whatever that, you know, lies is like they were airing, putting out your dirty laundry, whether it was true or not, what they have to make up stuff. A lot of these people in the community, they pay them. So it's like they were under pressure to come up with some lies to back up some stories as well. Wow. Yep. No. It's like these people, they realize, you know, they were very childish. They were acting very cold around you. You could have noticed people in your community, they were very cold around you. They were very childish. Now they're losing balance and control as well. They lose their direction. They lost their way. A lot of the, and this is why they're ashamed. Because they, they told a lot of lies with the clothesline here. Thinking they were airing your dirty laundry. Now they realize how childish they were. The stupid game. And this is why now they're, they're, they're ashamed. They were acting cold. Yeah. Now they're feeling lost. Doubting. Yeah, because they were wishing for overnight success. Now it's empty promises of change. They're confused. With these death spells and witchcraft, again, they thought they could take you out. Because if they took you out, it's like, with you out of the picture, there was something for them to gain. Now, everything backfired. They realized it was all, now they lost everything. This overnight success is not going in. See, this is why they're broke, gals. They're broke now. They're broke. Wow. Mm -hmm. They lost direction with the compass there. Yeah. Stay awake. Amidst confusion and intense crisis, seek the light of understanding and resolve. 
So a lot of you, you're not getting caught up in the the whatever drama. You're choosing peace. Amidst all the confusion and the intense crisis, you are seeking the light. That's who you are. You seek the truth. You're a peacemaker. And these people without any cause, they came up against you. And this is why God, he would not, he cannot, he won't stand aside. He's not slack according to his promise. How could he see these people with the compass driving things towards you to hurt you and sit back and not protect you? So God kept you safe. I'm telling you, it's like the enemy is in whatever direction because with the compass, it's like, you know, all over the place. They were just throwing any and everything. And in spite of all of that, they wanted you to like act out of character too so that they can trigger you to say, you see, they're, they're this, they're that. <clears throat> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, everything fall apart. Everything fall apart for these people. Everything fall apart. Well, anarchists, rebellious, freedom, liberation, free speech, broke, broke or break up establishment, firm belief, autonomy, and philosophy. So it's like a lot of you, these people, they couldn't control you. For some of you, they wanted to stop you from talking, but here we have free speech. <laughs> like there, I'm gonna talk. You know, you you're gonna stand on your firm beliefs. So a lot of them too, it's your your spirituality, it's the things you believe in. They wanted to stop you. They wanted to stop you. They wanted to break up your establishment. Whatever you have going on, whatever we have working on, they want to stop and block and slow down our progress. This is what they wanted to do. Now these people with the hourglass, they run out of time. They run out of time. It's like it won't work. Mm. Challenger, revolutionary, fights the status quo, inspires leader, joins causes questions bold takes the road less traveled and defends that's who you are that's who you are you're a challenger you are here to fight and to stand up against the status quo and this is why some of these people they didn't like you they don't love you and with the five of ones we saw that the competition and the jealousy it's because of who you are also, and it's because of what you stand for. And it's because you refuse to be like them. And this is why they wanted to trigger you so they could get you out of character, so they could tell people, you see, they're just like us, low vibrational. But you stood on your word. You stood on your firm foundation here. Because you are not afraid to go against the grain. You are free. And it's like you are here to speak the truth and also help people to break free from the limitations. To stand up, not to cower down. Again, not to dim their light to fit in with people. Just because you're afraid of what they're going to say. Because at the end of the day, when you stand for divine, when you stand up for God, he will take care of you. And this is something that a lot of you, a lot of us have learned or you're learning. Because anyway, these people, they don't like you. So even if you were to join them or be a part of their groupie, the thing is they would take you out as soon as they have a chance because they don't like you. You have a light within you. It's in you. And they probably would just friend you up until they, they took you out silently. But it's like because you stood out, you got away, you broke away from them. Now they have to come after you. But you see, when, when you stay with people who don't hate you, 
they could silently unalive you and nobody would even suspect that it's them. But when God shift, when God, you know, protected you, remove you from these people, whether it, you know, in the community, your own family could have co collaborated with these people to air your, your dirty laundry, to gossip, to lie, to slander you. So you see these people, they didn't love you anyway. I mean, all somebody have to show them is some money and their true colors came out. They're a sellout. These people, they, some of them, they, you know, they, they sleep with each other. We have the third wheel there. These are people who hang out together like kids. They here on the slide, the playground. They're very immature. They're childish. But they couldn't trap you. And so they decide to come after you in whatever way they can. But see, you challenge the status quo. You don't settle. You fight for a cause. You are bold. You are brave. You take the road that's less traveled. Again, you are not a groupie. You don't mind being by yourself. You stand up for others. And this is why God stood up and he's standing up for you right now. Right now. Wow. Pets. Independent, luxurious, lifestyle, open to love and relationship, content, communication, love, freely balanced. Yeah, a lot of you, it's like your God's pet. <laughs>